Early voting has now begun in Indiana. This is the Monroe County Early Voting Center. You see the voting booths set up over here. Among the voters we've seen here on this first day of early voting, several Indiana University students. After a week's long effort to get more students registered to vote, these voters are ready to make their voices heard at the ballot box. Previously, we've realized um, the impact that our voices have um, in elections. Indiana University freshman Zoe Catlin is voting for the first time. It's your right as a citizen to be able to feel represented in your communities. Some of Indiana's colleges and universities say they've seen a significant uptick in voter participation among students. At IU Bloomington, the student voting rate jumped nearly 22 percentage points from 2016 to 2020. Purdue University saw a similar increase with a 20 percent difference. Both are ahead of the nationwide 13 percent spike in college student turnout. Mark Fraley helps run civic engagement efforts for IU. And I think that people are seeing themselves uh, truly as citizens of their communities, uh, people that uh, have a strong voice that could be added to, that could be added to the national discourse. Although midterm elections often see a dip in voter turnout, some say there are signs that upward trend could continue. Julia Vaughn has been speaking with high school and college age voters for her work with the nonpartisan group Common Cause Indiana. The passage of an incredibly restrictive abortion ban has motivated a lot of younger voters and that's one group here in Indiana uh, that hasn't participated at the same level as others. For now, these IU students are working to make sure their peers get out to the polls. Recently, we just got a grant that will allow us to pay for kind of like some voting efforts. So, for example, we have like free Uber rides to the voting center. The voter registration deadline has just passed here in Indiana, so it's too early to tell what the final registration numbers will look like for this election cycle. In Bloomington, Kristen Escow, Fox 59 News.